Hey, what's up guys? Stephen Cult of Mac here, and Apple has just released iOS 11 Beta 4 to developers, and it's jam-packed full of new features and tweaks. So let's not waste any more time and get straight to it. As with each beta release, iOS 11 Beta 4 issues a whole ton of bug fixes and stability improvements. There's also a few changes in terms of UI. Firstly, there's a new, slightly bolder Wi-Fi icon at the top of the screen, new icons for contacts, reminders and notes, as well as a new icon for cellular, or in the UK, mobile data when you force touch on the settings app within Control Center. Speaking of Control Center, there's a new countdown for screen recordings, which is super handy as previously they would begin recording instantly, meaning there would always be a few seconds of video showing the Control Center being swiped away. Now there's a countdown from three, giving you time to get to the screen you want the video to start from. The Bluetooth button now shows as non-connectable instead of just disconnecting from a current device. Finally, for Control Center, there's a new animation for when you turn on the low power mode to indicate just how low the juice is on your iPhone, which is a nice touch. The app switcher has also had a bit of a refinement, uh, as well as being smoother when closing apps. When they're all closed, the app switcher itself now closes. Whereas in previous betas, it would show a blurred home screen and you'd have to tap through to get back to the home screen. Additionally, the app switcher will now not open if you've not got any apps open in the background, which makes sense. Within the settings app, you'll now notice an individual tab for Siri, instead of it being under the general tab, which makes it slightly quicker to access, I guess? Uh, as well as a new airdrop tab under settings to choose who you want to allow access to share files with you, the same way you can in Control Center. My personal favorite and probably most requested update has finally made its way to iOS 11 Beta 4, and that's the ability to swipe on notifications again. If you've seen my iOS 11 review, you'll know I hated that I was no longer able to swipe, and thankfully they brought it back. So now if you swipe left, you can view the notification in more detail, or clear that individual notification. If you swipe to the right, you can open the app the notification has come from. And if you do a full swipe to the left, it will remove the notification just the way it would in mail. Something also worth noting is that I've seen on Twitter that some people aren't able to force touch on notifications anymore like this, uh, mainly on older devices, but let me know in the comment section if you're still able to do that and what iPhone you're using. Siri's voice has been altered yet again, but not necessarily for the best. It's a little clunky for me, it's breaking up words and sounding a lot more like a robot, although when I try to film it, it's sounding fine. Steven, I don't really know any good jokes. None, in fact. The photo draw in the Messages app has also had a little redesign, but there's now this bar at the bottom, uh, presumably to make it easier to scroll through your pictures. Uh, previously, it was a little bit clunky, and you might have accidentally dragged an image instead of scrolling. Hopefully though, Apple will put some sort of graphic here in future betas, just to make it that little bit clearer. At the moment, it looks like a bug, even though it works well and is a welcome feature. Within the Files app, they've actually removed the On My iPhone or On My iPad location, which seems a little bit strange. For a file manager, that's obviously a location that you could really use. Hopefully, it's just been withdrawn while they sort out some bugs. For example, in Beta 3, I was unable to drag files from the cloud to the iPad, which feels like it should be a no-brainer. Finally, the iPad has seen some new tweaks with Beta 4, specifically within the Camera app, which now has a nice, tidy layout for some settings on the right-hand side, all stacked up as well as a redesign of the Maps app, which looks a whole ton cleaner and redefined. No new features within the Maps app though, just a redesign. iOS 11 will be released for iPhones and iPads this coming September. Well, that's it for this video, but let me know in the comment section down below if you've come across any changes that I've not mentioned in iOS 11 Beta 4. Also, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button, and make sure to hit subscribe and enable notifications so you can stay up to date with the latest videos from Cult of Mac. I'll catch you in the next one.